Hey, my loves, I am asking that you stand with me and boycott Netflix for gender bias and color bias. I was offered a $500,000 deal last week to do a comedy special. However, Amy Schumer was offered $11 million, Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle $20 million. Then Amy Schumer went back and renegotiated two more million dollars because she said I shouldn't get what the men are getting, they're legends, however I should get more and Netflix agreed. When we asked Netflix to explain the difference, why the money was so different, they said, well, we believe that's what Monique will bring. We said, well, what about my resume? They said, we don't go off of resumes. Then we asked them, what was it about Amy Schumer? And they said, well, she sold out Madison Square Garden twice, and she had a big movie over the summer. Is that not Amy Schumer's resume? And then Netflix said, by the way, we believe Monique is a legend too. Why shouldn't I get what the legends are getting? Please stand with me in this boycott of Netflix. I love us for real. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, for those out there that don't know, basically, this was supposed to be a comedy special that's about to come out on Netflix. You know, it's not it's not titled yet. Um, basically, um, it, it's supposed to include Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Amy Schumer, and Monique. So, mm -hmm. basically, Monique was an or wasn't happy of um, what they offered her for the show. Monique said they offered her 500 racks, $500,000, half a million. So she was like, okay, um, why am I getting paid this much and everybody else is getting paid, like, much more than her? Like, you know, Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle and, you know, Amy Schumer. So first she asked about, like, basically, like, with Amy Schumer, she was like, wow, she's getting paid this much. They was like, well, basically, Amy Schumer sold out Madison Square Garden twice, you yeah. know, and they just left it as that. They was like, basically, she's in high demand. They could have easily just told her, like, look, I'm not a fan of Amy Schumer, me personally, but they could have they could easily just told her, look, Amy Schumer is doing stuff right now, and what have you done for the last few last few years? You haven't been doing anything. If you were small, you just take that five hundred thousand dollar check and just be easy, and try to you know basically get back on good terms. And when it comes to the filmmaking industry, you know, like you already like you already burned bridges in Hollywood or whatever. If it's if it, you no, know, if it's your fault, if it wasn't your fault, it don't matter. You still burned the bridges. So you're gonna sit here and try to make yourself look even more stupid and try to tell everybody to boycott Netflix because you, you think that they're discrediting your your resume. Please soften hey, up the blade for this. Please soften up the blade for her. Like, she gonna sit there and tell everybody to boycott Netflix because of that? This is why motherfuckers get the guillotine. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's look, a ridiculous. I want to hear your you opinion about that before I show up at this. Well, it's funny because when you're dealing with a situation with Monique for what has been going on, um, this could also have to do with the perceived blackballing that she has had. Because the fact is, after she won that, it was already this is 2018, but this was 2010 when she won the Oscar for Precious. But after that, she, it just seemingly something happened where she was not getting those roles anymore, you know, and, um, you know, it, it, it's, whether it was fair or unfair, there was some type of perception about her in Hollywood that Like, said, basically, they were sitting there saying, they were saying, like, basically, like, um, she like, was it's, a, it's a number she of was things. hard to work with. Yeah, yeah that's one she, thing. She, yeah, and it was other things never... that like she um when she when she um had got the award or whatever I think that same award for Precious she didn't no what it was some other movie I think and then she didn't um basically think um what's his name Gary Daniels I think his name is now Lee Daniels Lee Daniels Lee Daniels yeah excuse me Lee Daniels she didn't um basically um thank him or whatever and there was another story basically saying that I guess they was all at a banquet or something and they was people were talking crazy about Monique or whatever, and basically Tyler Perry and Oprah wasn't sticking up for her. Like, you know, basically they were talking crazy about her, you know, and, you know, they just, they didn't, 
say anything about it or whatever. They didn't, they didn't um, hold that. I guess he thought that they was all really good friends. I don't know why. There's no friends in Hollywood. But she, I well, guess she no felt betrayed because of that, too. And the thing is, when you, the thing is, we, there's a lot of situations that go on in Hollywood that are not the Illuminati, but it's just about how you interact with certain people in those positions of power and influence, the movers and shakers, the ones who are the ballers and shot callers who give the green light for your career to go forward or the red light that basically kills it dead. Um, you know, and, uh, it, it, for some reason with her, it just – and then also, too, you have to look at who negotiated those contracts as well, which if that's the case, her agent needs to be questioned about how she's going to get 500000 and Amy and Dave. And we all love Dave Chappelle, and we give him so much – we give him so much props for what he did at the height with the Chappelle show for walking away from all that money for the legitimate yeah, yeah. reasons on Oprah that he pointed out. But Dave is still has a big audience. You know, Dave is still yeah. still out of show. And exactly. he's still been and, and I don't and know how Monique can sit here well. and think I don't think she can I don't I don't believe how Monique can sit here and think but oh like she's in the same caliber as a uh, Dave Chappelle, let alone the Chris Rock, like no, no, it's like, like yeah, you 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 had your she had your time or whatever. You was funny, like you had the Parkers or whatever and, and shit like that. But no, like you Queen wasn't. Of she was like, a queen of comedy. Didn't, like this dude, that Queen of Comedy shit was whack. Nah, I'm not fucking around. It wasn't whack. But at the same time, <laughs> people didn't really people didn't really um. Can't, but come on, Queen of Comedy, Chappelle Show. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. You feel me? It's like the, the it highlight of all... Kings of Comedy. It was not as good as Kings of Comedy, but it wasn't just trash, though. No, no, no. I was fucking around. It wasn't trash. I was but fucking around. Is, but your manager is supposed to negotiate those numbers in a way that is advantageous for you. I mean, if you figure at least if you're not getting twenty million, hell, you could get at least five or ten. I mean something, but for five hundred thousand. Man, look, when's the last time she see the check for five hundred thousand dollars? She bugging. Like, okay, look, let's really be real. Okay, but look, but look, let me just get my two cents because we we finna sharpen up that guillotine. But there's a right and wrong reason for it. See, look, five hundred thousand. She still has her acclimates and and her past and her and her resume. She does, and she's funny as hell on the cool. And, and, and sometimes she hasn't been as funny as she has been in the past. But at the end of the day, she, if, if the lowest bid that she was talking about, people were getting $11 million, I do, I do, I feel like T-Max, she should have gotten at least $5 million, goddamn. The 500000 was kind of like a spit in the face. But then again, at the end of the day, like you said, she, she did not know be hard to work with and all of this. Whatever the case may be, my grief, my, my beef with it, is the simple fact that all, and I say this about all the, all these movements, everybody's black, whatever, when, when we start trying to set a movement for racial discrimination or gender bias, please, and I say this so seriously, please be for real and, and have a legitimate reason for it. You can't be Thank so you. quick Thank to you. say everything is racist because then it delegitimizes the true Racial d- discrimination that we see in a lot of cases, and that's my thing. Now I can understand she felt like she was spitting the face for the amount of money she was offered, and yes, her negotiator should have been a little better in what he was doing. But at the end of the day, I don't see a, a clear cut gender bias or racist racial discrimination in it, and that's my that's no, my not at all. guillotine. Because at the end of the day, when we want to say something is racial. Please let it be a clear cut evident like this this there's a real racist racist bigotry behind this. I, I cannot stand what people are so quick to say, Oh, this is racial discrimination and, and it you know, something that Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Oh. That's ridiculous when it comes to that, because it definitely has race has nothing to do with that at all. And the wow. reason why I'm giving her the guillotine is for her for her saying that, oh, everybody should boycott Netflix because they paid her Five hundred thousand dollars for a show. I'm like, what are you nuts? 
Well, the car like, was boycott. Like, like her to get she's really. Too. That's how. That's how. That's what made me really look at her. To, like, yeah, you really think you you really in your own bubble. Like, you really think you still popping like that? No. First, and first of all, we miss Fat Monique. Skinny Monique fucking sucks. Ever since she lost all that weight. She wanted to be a fucking a Black Panther revolutionary and those other extra shit. Like, but when she was fat, she was fun loving. She didn't really care about all the extra shit. You no, know I mean she. Ha- the only thing is that she hated skinny girls. That's it. And also, but too, the fat jokes and the skinny jokes, it kind of, it kind of. She ain't talking more. And also, too, and also, too, if there's an issue, you don't need to take it public like that. You know, if there. You handle that behind closed doors. If there's a, you don't, you don't take that public. You know, I mean. And even if you do take it public, though, even if she does take it public, she needs to keep mm-hmm. it focused on the real thing at hand. She's mad over the financial offer that they gave her. She's mad about right, that. right. Talk about that, but please don't throw in the what. Even if she would have said it was gender bias, she could have had that argument a little better. Than the racial bias. How are you gonna say two black men got more than this white girl, but it's a racial discrimination? What? That that was that, that was a contradiction in the same sentence. Now the gender, she could have argued that by saying the female got paid less and she getting paid even less. But whatever, I don't know. But the racial discrimination needed to stay out of her mouth and call it for a boycott on Netflix because they pissed you off. They didn't piss off ten different comedians. That happen to be, you know, female or black female, they pissed off you. So please don't come asking for a boycott. This isn't the NFL. This wasn't a, a case where somebody took a stand and now Netflix is taking it out on everybody or, you know, they're opening our eyes to something that Netflix has been doing. This wasn't that kind of situation. So she no, needs to lay off. And it's get her, Chilla. Not, get her. And it, That's it, right, Chilla. She understands. And I don't, and I don't wish this on, and I don't wish this on her. But if she talks, if there's this thing about blackballing with Monique, she's probably got cast into the black hole now, because I don't think, I don't, she I also hope I'm wrong. She, she, also she, she may not. She to, go ahead. She, she may not come I'm back okay. from this. She may not come back from this. She may not come back from this. I might call this white balling. <laughs> she, she she she's gonna devalue herself even more. Now, if she gets called back or whatever to do any type of show, now her price is gonna lower. Like yo, and you, you haven't had you haven't been doing no real work in years. You gotta she gotta remember that. That's what I said. She's she's caught in her own bubble. She think that she she think like it's still back in the early two thousands and all that shit or whatever or, or around the time when Precious came out. No, it's not that time anymore. Like, it's a completely different era. Like, yes, Amy Schumer, yes, she may be um, corny or whatever, but the she's killing them right her. now. The, 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 bitch, the, the, bitch sold out Man- the bitch sold out Madison Square Garden twice. You think they're not going to pay her bread? Monique can't even yeah. sell out Madison Square Garden. But, you know, and, and that's another thing. That's one thing that I did. When, when she said that it wasn't about the resume, they told her it wasn't about the resume, but then they spit out old girl's resume, I can understand where she's coming from. But at the end of the day, Monique, if she doesn't bounce back from this, I believe it'll be like, because what T-Mac just said, she took it public, and it's, it's, you, you, you draw a fine line when you start taking it public because people now know that if they burn you or if you feel like they burned you, then everybody's business is going out in the street because you're pissed off. That's the one backlash to you taking it public, among many, but that's the major backlash about you taking any kind of grievance public. Not to say that you shouldn't do it, but if you do it, make sure that it's a legitimate reason that you're doing it, and, and even if you're calling attention to it, don't bring some some extreme attention to a small exactly. problem. Making it that, that's that's exactly. going to come out. That's going to come out back. Honestly. That's my right too, Sheila. Yeah, they're going to want to tiptoe around everything they do with her, and people are going to be like, you know what, fuck it. I'm not going to do this. And, and the joke I was going to make was, you know, she always talking about being a swinger, her and her husband. You might have fucked the wrong person and, and, and called yourself swinging, but they, they partner wasn't swinging with you. And maybe maybe that's it. I don't know. 
But at the end of the day, yo, you, you, you stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. And I think I think Netflix telling her that with the whole resume shit. I think Netflix, like I said, I think they was trying to be nice because they could have easily said they could have easily said, "Monique, you haven't done anything in in the in mad long time." Like, let's really be real, Monique. You haven't done anything. Like, you're not in That's high true. demand. You know right, what I'm saying? You know. Like, <clears throat> what Chris Rock. Dave Chappelle, she, even Dave Chappelle, he got he got a new he got a um a stand up a new stand up on Netflix right now, killing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People are doing things. things. I, these I people got, the one they paid these, him twenty million got, for. They paid him twenty yeah, million like, for that. I believe. Yeah, yeah, come on. These these dudes got fan bases. They're doing things. They 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 got friends in higher places. They know how to conduct business. They're not blackballed. They, you know what I'm saying? Like you, that's things she had to. Consider and humble herself. She should have just took that bread and then focused on trying to rebuild her career. Simple. Instead of her opening her mouth and thinking she's like she's, you know what it is too. You know what another thing is too. I noticed like what's that? I I, I really do I, like. I think Monique started um, deteriorating little by little ever since she um, had her talk show. I hated that show. Because you think like she, she you think like you know what I'm saying how she talk like she's like has a high vernacular like she's very smart and she never really used to say anything you know what I'm saying and, and it was just boring TV and all she used to do was just oh yes my black brother yes my brother like she was all preachy and all that she like come on B you thought you basically basically she was being a sophist. And for what people, and for those who may not know what sophist is, sophist goes back to the Greek times where you have these people who would be at the parties who are very loquacious and basically use a sesquipedalian, using a whole bunch of big words, but they never amounted to anything. They were just basically yeah. talking just to talk. Not like Tia. But, and they say, oh, my black brother, <laughs> you are blessed, my black brother, and Everybody's a black brother. Everybody's a black sister. Like, I love being black, but goddamn. And the thing is, sometimes, that, bring in, sometimes that fucking on, black we, that black power should be getting on my nerves, because those are the same motherfuckers as the biggest hypocrites that claim they're pro black. <laughs> Fuck out of well, here. Hey, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't, don't hey. Don't we can't go there on um, Omar Johnson. We trying to get that school up there. We trying to make sure he get that up there. <laughs> Hey, 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 Omar. <laughs> hey, I didn't say his name. I didn't say his name. I just, well, well, we name is, Robin. Maybe, he, maybe he could call up there. He could, we could get get a school donation for him or something like that. We just name drop it out there. I'm about to pull a fifty well, cent out of Rob. We drink. We name drop. It. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always complex, man, because when you're dealing with the levels of Hollywood. You know, um, you have to understand how to deal with people in it. When you look at what Dave Chappelle did, as I said, that was so brave what he did because he was not going to sell his soul for the dollar. But Dave was already a self-sufficient machine in terms of what he was doing because Dave had done comedy for years prior. So he was going to be all right. And by the grace of God, he left that show. That Chappelle show left when it was on top. So you still Mm -hmm. have people who still are, like, fiending, like, you know, pookie, like, you know, you're going to do it again. Are you going to do it again? You know what I mean? But Dave is legitimately hilarious. Dave works – Dave is like Jay-Z. He works when he wants to work. And when he works, exactly. people will come out and see him. And you, mean, know what, you know what? Too, just like with Jay-Z. Gonna... Just like with Jay – go ahead, go ahead, Sheila, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, when y'all said that about Dave Chappelle – just like they they both had similar things, they both went away, and, and of course in different different reasons and in different fashions. But when Dave came back, the nigga came back strong, and he came back with his audience still there. Monique left for whatever reason. When she came back, she had to regain her audience, and she had a different style. So at the end of the day, you know that just goes to show people do people do have to 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 move around from the scene every now and then for different reasons but it's how you come back and 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 Dave showed that he could come back strong which got him that 20 million dollar deal you know what i'm saying Monique was was gone she wasn't too far gone she was doing stuff in prisons and all of that she still had 
her presence out there, but but it, she didn't come back as strong as Dave did, and with her fans asking for it so much that people had to respect her talent and had to respect that, look, I'm here, I'm not going nowhere, and my fans want me, so pay me. If you want to make money, you're going to have to pay for it. So. Definitely. So, yeah, and that's the point too, like, to the story. I just want to, to say one more thing. I just want to – go ahead, go ahead. I, I just, before you said the morale of the story, because I know you're about to, you know what I'm saying, cut this shit off, um, stop the story. I just wanted to say, like, basically, this dude, um, this, the, the Chappelle show basically was a fucking trailblazer, yo. You know what I'm saying? He was. Like, the, 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 the Chappelle show actually ch- changed people's lives. Like, how much people done – um, was Tyrone Biggums for fucking Halloween and how much motherfuckers done, you know what I'm saying, reenacted so much skits from the Chappelle show. You never seen anybody dressed up like fucking um, Monique any damn time for Halloween or whatever the case may be. Like, this dude set a trend. And rest in peace to Rick James because he was bringing Rick James back on the scene and of course Charlie He brought Rick James back. I mean, and then Charlie Murphy. I mean, we, we invested in peace, Charlie Murphy, because we didn't know Charlie Murphy was that funny. I mean, oh my yeah. god, yeah, right. Let Charlie Murphy get burned. Like he, like the only one that really gave Charlie Murphy a chance. You know what I'm saying? Charlie Murphy was in other movies like Hall of Nights and shit like that, or CB4, like CB4, CB4. Yeah. You know, actually, see before that's like the biggest role he ever had before. You know, like the Chappelle show and shit. You gotta remember, well, he, ended when it came to other... he ended up on the Boondocks yeah. after that. He ended up on the Boondocks after the Chappelle show. This dude Chappelle opened oh. doors for so many people. Yes, it did. For real, true trailblazer. So Monique, true Monique, you know, she should have just took, she should have just took that damn check, humbled herself, and you know, do her damn job. You know what I'm saying? I doubt she's even funny anymore. I doubt. I, I doubt she. She still has because she's. She's a real bitter woman right now. She's not that fun loving person. That's how. That's how she. How she was before. And her style of jokes can change now. So. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think she's just hungry. She's just hungry. Give Give Monique a sandwich. You know what I mean? She was also all that way. No, she get you know she, she hungry, yo. I'm telling you, when you hungry, you bitter. She's just bitter. She doing this damn diet and all that shit. That shit is not working out for her attitude problem. Give her a brisket That's sandwich, she be alright. <clears throat> she alright though. You'll be okay. Matter of fact, you want to rebuttal? You can get on the show. We can use that. We can use your story. If you can go toe to toe with Sandman because he's going hard in the paint on you. Yeah, definitely. Like, hey, Monique wanna call on the show, we can definitely chop it up and shit. I'll definitely give her the floor. And what I've said was is the is the truth. Other than, you know, minus the jokes and all that shit. But when it comes to, you know, her as a as a, a actress, no, you're not in high demand anymore. You can ask anybody that. For this real. was a, you know, they was looking out for you with this 500 racks. I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you haven't done anything. You haven't done anything recently that that even um came up to that that type of money. Trust me, we 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 would have figured it out. This For is like the real, biggest man. check you had in the in years. That's a fact, man. So she better be grateful, because, you know, it's hard for niggas to get 500 racks like that off the fly these days, especially off TV, you dig? Especially over Netflix. Shit, it's, a, it's not even on, it's going on Netflix. 500 racks for a Netflix, for one Netflix show? Or, come on, B. You wildin'. Now, if it was for a movie, like a movie that's coming out on, you know what I'm saying, on Silver Screen, then I would understand to a certain extent. Then I'd be like, nah, I'd be like, this is a fucking movie on the silver screen. If I was a dollar, this is this is something on Netflix. What's going on? I know, right? So yeah, she welcome to rebuttal if she want to. But we digress on that end. So what we're gonna do is right now we're gonna bring our guest in shortly. We're gonna play two of his joints.